Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. We are a couple days into our trip now, and we just woke up uh, not too long ago. It's about nine in the morning. So we went to go grab some breakfast at um, Chick-fil-A <laughs> again. So uh, that's what we got. Um, really, you're peeing so loud. Uh, we saw one that was like less than five minutes away from our hotel. So we decided to get our breakfast now so we can eat it comfortably in a hotel um, instead of in the car. And yeah, we basically got the same thing. And sad news, but we are on our last episode of the drama we we're watching. I don't know if I mentioned it, it's called When the Camellia Blooms. We're literally on the last episode and I'm so sad. The hotel has Netflix login capability, so we're able to watch it on the big screen. I downloaded it on my iPad before we left, but I was like, no, I'd rather finish it on a actual TV. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat breakfast and watch. Quick story time. <laughs> we went to the drive-thru and um, Raph was ordering and he called a sausage egg muffin a McMuffin at Chick-fil-A. And I think the guy was so confused. And then and then I was like, oh my gosh, he did not just say McMuffin. And then after that, I was trying to have him order another set of hash browns and he called them tater tots. So that was like two in a row. And then you could tell Ralph was super flustered. Like he was so confused. And it was just so funny. I like I can't stop laughing. But I was so embarrassed in the car. I was just like, oh my gosh, you did not just say that. But he was like, well, we're not gonna see them again. So <laughs> that's that. Anyway, we're gonna eat and then pack all our stuff again and head back on the road. Excuse you. What are you doing? Getting comfortable. <laughs> oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Time to eat breakfast. Hey guys, so we are back on the road again and we're heading down to Provo um, because we are gonna have lunch out there but before we head down we were heading down uh, hold on let me start over before we decided to head down to Provo we went to Dutch Bros we realized that there's a lot of Dutch Bros out here and um, there's not that many close to it actually there's none close to us back home so we're like just might as well take the opportunity. We never know what to order there. We've only been there like maybe once or twice ever. So I got a <laughs> iced flapjack brevet and Raf got a, what did you get? Uh, mocha or chata. Mocha or chata iced, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the line was super long and it was kind of confusing, but the people there were super nice. So yeah, now we're gonna head down to Provo, have a little bit of coffee. It's probably my first coffee of this trip. And um, have lunch out there. And then from there, we're gonna go head down to Moab. So we just got to our uh, lunch location. And we actually had to pull out our jackets for the first time because it's pretty cold here. It's like 60. So I had to pull out my jacket and I had to get a sweater from the trunk. But we are currently in Provo. And we're gonna have some burgers for lunch. No. Okay, guys, our food is here. <gasps> Everything looks so good. Whoa, we got a coconut macadamia shrimp um, salad. And this is our burger, the Paniolo burger. And Raph's all here eating. How was it? I just tried the fries. It's good. Oh, it looks different than what we're used to. But. Dude, look at this burger. We didn't need a knife or something. Yeah, oh. Eh, I think this is a knife. Sure. It has two onion rings. It is a knife. And then there's like a patty down there. And the bun is like nice and fluffy. There's a pineapple? Yeah. Ooh. Pineapple bacon. I am ready.
plans changed a little bit because we just found out or realized that Canyonlands is actually pretty far from our hotel. We were planning to come here early morning tomorrow, but that's a little overkill because we have to drive to Vegas like right after. And we didn't want to do that. Um, so we figured we'd switch the national parks. So today we're at Canyonlands and we're about maybe a little less than 20 miles to the entrance. But we pulled over because we saw this really cool spot and it was like really nice. There's like nobody here in the parking lot. It's just a scenic view and it's really nice. So we stopped and took a few pictures. the tripod so he had a few pictures you know souvenir and stuff and the sun is going down so it will be perfect for pictures later this is our second stop because I forgot to pull out the camera in the first stop but you can see the sun it looks amazing that we're going to take a look at. It's called Grand Point. It's 0.2 miles away. No, it's not. What is it called? <laughs> Grand View. Grand View Point. So, this better be a grand view when we get there. It's pretty much our last stop because uh, the sun's already down. So let's see what's so grand about this place. Alright, so we're here. Grand View Point. 6,000 elevation. Alright, it's gonna be right over there in that corner. Over there. Alright, let's go. On the way to the Grand View. I'm so excited. Are you? Nah, the sun's already down. So. Yeah, it still looks so pretty nice. Whoa! Here. I can see it already. The grandness of the view. It's gonna be right over there. Okay, you can't see it with this camera, but. Oh, we got restrooms. Yeah, what the? Okay, Didn't. so we just, <laughs> all right, cool. Cut. Why isn't there like a, a point to Grand View Point, you know? I wanna see what's so grand about this place. Everything's so red, even the ground is red. There's a guy standing there, that might be it. Okay, I'm seeing a break point. Right here. Oh man. This looks like this looks like it. The grand oh, the grand view. It's 
not that bad. My feet are tingling. Because there's a little break right here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. No, there is a break. You see it? Yes. See? So you can even be like right there. Nope. <laughs> nope. And still be okay. There it is, guys. The grand view. I like it. So, how was it? It was good. Was it grand? It wasn't as grand as the Grand Canyon, mm. but it was certainly grand in its own way. What do you think of Canyon Lands? I like it. It's nice, right? There's so many things that you can it's see. It's pretty quiet for Saturday, too. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you've never been to Grand Canyon and this is your first one, it would be like, whoa. Yeah, because it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's grand. Hey, where are you going? Maybe I already saw people with flashlights on. I think they're going to go hiking or backpacking or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Raph was scared, so he went back to the car. Yeah, I didn't want to get eaten by bobcats. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to head to the hotel now and chill. Maybe we'll see some stars on the way out. Mm, yeah, probably. We're away from the city, so we might be able to. This is our drive out of the park. Look how dark it is. That's like literally only our lights. It's like pitch black. There's no lights. So if you guys do plan to come out here, make sure you bring a flashlight. And um, yeah, it's really dark right now. And there's no signal yeah. up in the uh, mm -hmm. I mean, there is some, but it's very spotty. And I only get signal for like a minute or two. Um, let's see right now. I, I mean, this says I have two bars, but Sometimes it doesn't even load. So yeah, just a heads up. It's so dark. Oh my gosh, I can't even see anything. Another day, another hotel. This is our third hotel. And we just wiped everything down. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that because you saw it already, like twice. But we're here. This is probably the biggest hotel room we've been to so far. But it's kind of oldish. But it doesn't smell old, so that's good. <laughs> but the parking lot was full. We got really lucky and we saw a, uh, someone leave towards the front of the lobby. So <sighs> Raph moved the car and it was pretty far to begin with. And their pool is open, so I was like, mm. Also, this is the only hotel that ha that is serving breakfast. And I'm still kind of iffy about that. Like a communal breakfast, you know? So I don't know if we're going to eat here tomorrow morning but we are planning to leave really early to check out arches and that'll be our last national park here in utah and then we will drive to vegas tomorrow too how are you feeling sir feeling good hungry are you tired i'm a little tired yeah it was a lot of driving today not too bad but tomorrow's our last uh day at the parks here here's our hotel in Moab. Moab is super touristy. It's like a tourist town. And um, yeah, so we have a lot of desk space over there. We got a TV, king size bed, uh, a bench. I got, mm, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we have like a little couch sitting area, living room area over here. Before we arrived at the hotel, we wanted to try to look for food. But for one, I started getting dizzy because we were driving and I was looking at the phone. Um, so I was like, never mind. We got to the hotel and we didn't know what to get. So we're like, no, let's just check in. It's already pretty much nine o'clock, but um, I don't know. We got some peanut butter and jelly, so we might eat that. Also, I'm so sad because the tuna I made before we left, like, got flooded with the ice. And I was like, nah, maybe it's contaminated. I don't want to eat that. So, I'm so sad. Yeah, so either we're going to have peanut butter and jelly, or we're going to see if this little town has DoorDash or delivery of some sort. Let's see. Do they? No. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Maybe, we'll see. No. No. They don't have any. Aww. Peanut butter jelly it is. 
finally got to relax a little bit unwind from a long day and now it's time for dinner cheers gourmet, mm. gourmet sandwich gourmet pb and j by raf hey why is my my bread not aligned just kidding this is the top and this is the but top there's pb and j on every bite okay i like my sandwich like I trust you. I haven't had PB and J in a really long time, so this is really good right now. Having dinner, watching Friends, and I'm gonna go to sleep after this because we're gonna wake up early. We're planning to wake up like sunrise, hopefully, and then we're gonna check out Arches, mm -hmm. and then come back here, possibly take a nap. Check out Drive to Vegas. So, Drive to Vegas, baby. I'll end the vlog here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye, sir. Bye.